Hot take? Huh? Okay, it's kind of a hot take. I think like the high end, like fa- like Gucci fashion is disgusting. Like clothing. Oh, I have so many shoes, opinions on this. They're gross. As in like when you walk into a Gucci store and you see like 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 the shoes and the clothing, I look at them and I'm like, who's wearing that? Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for my sorry? Let me swallow this mouthful. I have a spiel. Call me Steven Spielberg. Take it away, Steve. That was a joke I made one of the other episodes and Keisha Cutter, and I was very disappointed. So now that now that I'm editing it, I can put it in, and um, you guys will just have to sit through all my lame jokes. (laughs) But anyways, um, no, they can skip the video. I can't. I (laughs) okay with the designer stuff. So, like, there's different types of designer, right? You've got your Gucci, LV, stuff like that have the big logos. They put their logos on everything. Like, you know, the prints are very, like, loud, that kind of stuff. And then you have, like, quiet luxury where it's, like, I mean, I know Chanel and Dior are kind of going more into the big logos now because that's where the mass designer market is. Um, But then you've got your ones, like, um, like, Miu Miu, like, even though it's smaller, like, or, like, Celine, stuff like that. Like, they're just coming up, but they're, like, a bit more, you know, quiet, got, like, like their Laura Piana, stuff that like thing, that. And, that that's it. and, like, that, to me, that's... When I want a luxury brand, that's what I want. Not that I'm buying luxury brands, mm. but like I want it elegant. I want it kind of like quiet, like. And then, the yeah, makeover. I don't want to be screaming out, "I'm buying Gucci!" Like, I'll well, because be like, that's what I it is. Is Gucci, people think, you know? "Oh, if I buy Gucci, people think I'm rich." Yeah. And then it's just like, well, now it's just tacky. I have something on that. Mm? I don't know whether to say it now or later. I don't say know it. how long you're. Pro- well, apparently, you know, Supreme, the brand. Mm-hmm. I didn't actually know this. Well, like I knew it ages ago when I was told. But Supreme, the brand, you know how their logos just. Boom, Supreme, yeah. red like that, and they s- paste it right yeah. in the front. It was made as a joke to prove the point that you can stick a label on anything and call it like high end fashion and do wow. it. Wow. And the fact that it's actually so, it's just, they're like, eh, let's just put Supreme and call it expensive and like this yeah. huge brand. And now, look, well, that's like the thing. It's, it's like, like as a joke. The, like the reason luxury is so big is because people just want to make themselves look like they have mm. money. But for me, like if I was buying something luxury, it's because. Like you actually take time to it's make a good, good product. Quality, like, it's good quality. I know yeah. Hermes bags are like crazy yeah. expensive, but the reason, like, I would actually buy one because a, if you're using it for functional wear, it's going to last you a lifetime if you take care of it properly. But b, it's an investment piece. Like they appreciate probably mm-hmm. more than some cars. As my mother would say, it holds value. Mm-hmm. And so that's mother, where, if you're watching this, <laughs> that's where like the luxury kind of. And then not debate, but like that's yeah. where like all the questions come into yeah. it is like, is it worth it? And then my other thing is like the ethical questions, like yeah, I could spend thirty k on a bag, or I could donate thirty k and build a school in Africa or something, or like help yeah. build a school. Like, why would I buy the bag? Yeah. But then it's like, well, I could buy the bag, appreciate, let it appreciate in value, have the bag for a bit, just you know, treat myself, sell it, and then put more money into the school in Africa. Okay, that just went in a different direction, but yeah. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. There's all that kind of stuff with luxury. But wait, what was your original point again? Oh, it just looks ugly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. It's like when you're looking at the runway, if we look at um Dior in particular, like, mm. Dior was so classic, like the Miss Dior bag. Like that's what luxury should be. It's like the Miss Dior or like the classic um, mm. flap Chanel is like it's a bag that's so recognizable. You know that it's from the brand and it's like, okay, well, mm. like everyone wants that piece because it's a piece that represents yeah, so something much history. Yeah, to them. Like that's their thing. Yeah, but now Dior, like they've rebranded it. Kind of the logo is just like the word Miss Dior and it's just like pasted everywhere. Like oh, no. it's not, it's like it's going into. They're trying to follow the trends, but yeah. that's the whole thing of why they were successful in the first place. Like, I don't know if you're following the um <laughs> the spring summer collection 25 fashion mm. shows. I've been like watching them. I like fashion guys. <laughs> um and. It's just the Dior one was trying to be really like hip and cool and like target to the younger mm. audience. But when you think of luxury, like I'm not buying luxury clothes. Yeah, I want mm. it. But like we're not the target audience. You should be marketing to your more, you mm. know, older people. You know what I think as well? I think like there are two ends of the spectrum and you have to be on either one. You can't be in the middle. Like you can be your classy, like mm. do that. Or you make a huge statement and you just do the like a Balenciaga like caution yeah. tape dress. Like you just stick with that and everyone knows that's your thing. Like you've made a statement. There's no like in between where you want to be like make a statement but still make it because that's where it goes all yeah. yucky. Yeah. Well, there's some places, like some things that do it well, like um, Scaparelli is really, really good. I've like, seen the, yeah. Their yeah. designs, they're so beautiful yeah. and like they make a statement but at the same time they're like classic, like mm. they're the things you can wear. Um, It's just about finding that balance I think in luxury but uh. That was a really big tangent. Yeah. Any other Piqued my take? interest. Um, 